This video demonstrates how to bleed the brake lines on a tandem axle trailer which is equipped with UFP hydraulic disc brakes on one axle. The following tools and supplies will be needed. Brake fluid is hazardous and corrosive. Use caution when handling brake fluid. Before bleeding the trailer's brake system, do the following. First, make sure the actuator is positioned lower than the disc brake calipers. It is much easier to push air up than to force air down. Next, check the brake calipers to make sure the bleeder valves are located on the top side of the caliper. Finally, make sure the hydraulic fittings are secure. Remove the master cylinder reservoir plug and fill the reservoir with either DOT3 or DOT4 automotive brake fluid. Let the fluid stand in the reservoir until all air bubbles are gone. Before bleeding the brake lines, bleed the actuator master cylinder. To do this, insert a screwdriver into the half inch diameter hole in the bottom of the inner member. Hold the safety release bracket up and use small half inch forward and backward strokes with the screwdriver until the piston portion of the cylinder is full of brake fluid and no more bubbles are rising in the master cylinder reservoir. To bleed the brakes, start with the brake farthest from the master cylinder. The trailer we're working on has tandem axles, but only the first axle has brakes. Connect one end of a clear hose to the bleeder screw fitting on the wheel cylinder and submerge the free end into a container partially filled with brake fluid so that air bubbles can be observed. Do not reuse the brake fluid. It contains contaminants that may result in brake failure or costly repairs. Back at the master cylinder, it's time for some teamwork. Still holding the safety release bracket up, one person should begin slow, long strokes on the screwdriver to pump fluid toward the wheel cylinders. While the first person is doing this, the second person should open the bleed screw fitting and then close it before the person at the master cylinder releases the push rod to prevent air from being pulled back into the system. Repeat this process until no more bubbles are visible with each stroke. Be sure to close the bleeder screw securely. Caution. Never let the reservoir fall below half full during the bleeding process. If the brake fluid gets too low and sucks air down into the piston of the master cylinder, the process must start over and all brake fluid already in the system will need to be purged out. Now with the bleed hose still on the bleed valve barb, close and tighten the bleed valve. Remove the hose and go to the wheel cylinder on the other side of the trailer and repeat the process. Repeat this procedure for all remaining brakes. If your trailer is equipped with tandem brake axles, start with the rear axles, move to the front axles, and then repeat the bleeding process on rear axle brakes a second time to ensure all air has been purged from the system. Check to make sure bleeding of the brake system was done properly by stroking the pushrod assembly with a screwdriver and verify that the brake rotor cannot be rotated. When pressure is applied to the pushrod, the tire should not spin. Push up on the safety release bracket to make sure the pushrod is in the released position. Once bleeding is completed, fill the master cylinder reservoir Brake fluid in the reservoir should just touch the end of the dipstick on the fill plug when the fill plug is completely inserted into the fill hole. Install the reservoir fill plug. You have now completed the UFP by Dexter approved manual hydraulic brake bleeding procedure.